that on about that time. So we've got a really busy couple of days. Mummy has disappeared off up to Manchester to see all her friends. Uh, and we've got parties galore to go to. Plus I've got everything sorted ready again for next week. Wish me luck. What do you say? Good boy, thank you very much. Well, I feel so much more human now I've eaten. It's much better. So um, I can think straight now. The plan for today is uh, we've got to go and sort my bike out because I, I broke it while I was riding it last week. And we've got to sort something out for dinner. We've got to get Annabelle from a party. Um, we've got to find something to do this afternoon to entertain us. Oh, and we need to find a squirrel. Where are they? Let's have a look. Go on, it's behind you. Well, we're home now, and uh, this, I don't know if you'd be able to see this, little tiny, tiny bolt. Uh, the thread on the end here is basically what was missing. It, 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 well, it's like cheese, isn't it? So it sheared its way off, and uh, this part here, so we've got our shifters, and those shifters need to attach to there, to the brakes. And this bolt basically holds them in place. So um, I've been to a couple of bike shops. They Nobody just sold the bolts or the fixing kits. But the last one I went into, he's, um, he's re-threaded the thread on the end there. So this is a moment of truth. If this works, uh, obviously I can get to do some bike riding next week. If it doesn't, then um, I, I don't know. I'm going to, well, it's going to be an afternoon of Googling and trying to find some kits, I think. So um, let's have a go. Yes, it's on. And uh, that seems to be holding very nicely. So um, that means I can take this with me back to Exeter next week. And um, at least I've got something to do in the evenings now to alleviate some of the boredom. Now, having fixed my own bike, I very stupidly decided I'd start on some other thing. So this is Annabelle's bike. Uh, it, had, it had like a plastic piece here that stopped the chain from going over, but that plastic bit had broken, so I took it off and um, straight away the chain's fallen down there and now I can't get the chain out. So um, this could be my afternoon ruined. Well, thank goodness for that. Just before the rain started coming down, I managed to get in and get it fixed. It was one of those things, you know, when you start something and you wish you never had, um, a chain that got stuck between the wheel and the sprocket and I couldn't get it out. Anyway, managed to do it in the end. Um, but uh, the bike shop I went to to get the, the bolt sorted for my bike isn't that just an advert for using your local businesses? I was going to Google it and try and get kits and all sorts. Simply, he, he wound a new thread onto it for me. Uh, and while we were there, he gave the kids some sweets. It, what a lovely, lovely person he was and what a brilliant bike shop. So I'm, I'm definitely going to be going there, giving them my, sort of my business from here on in. So um, anyway, home now. Uh, I'm going to sort some dinner out because Sarah's not here. So I've let the kids choose what they want and they've come up with uh, everything from duck to olives to meat and chorizo and goodness knows what. So, I'm going to do the flying cup trick. And you're doing some flying cup trick. What's the flying cup trick? And my good magician never gives away their secrets. Oh, okay. Are you going to do me a show? Yeah. Right, brilliant. He, bye-bye. See you in a minute. Uh, yeah, so well, they're practicing a show for later, uh, and I've got to try and put all this stuff together. And we're going to sit in the lounge on the floor and have a carpet picnic, so it um, should be quite nice. But while I'm doing this, uh, just a little thing that I want to talk to you about is Dyson. And uh, they're kind of hinting, it's probably more than a hint actually, that they want to move into uh, producing electric cars, which it's interesting. I mean, let's be honest. There's lots of sort of there's lots of people trying to develop batteries. There's lots of people uh, trying to develop autonomous cars. Uh, you know, there's lots of people doing lots of different things. 
Dyson potentially are just another one of these people. Apart from they're not. Apart from they've got a bit of a proven track record for doing unusual things. Uh, you know, okay, it's all around kind of domestic appliances, but they have got a proven record when it comes to batteries and battery development. So are we going to see a Dyson car or are we going to see a, uh, a Dyson battery, uh, a Dyson drivetrain of some description, maybe to that other companies can come and buy. We've seen that with Bosch, they're producing um, motors at the moment. Personally, I want to see a Dyson car. Now, the, the thing with Dyson is they will not conform. They will not conform to what the normal car or a normal car should look like. And that kind of, that interests me because you know, as much as I understand the likes of Nissan um, have to produce a car now that will appeal to the mass market. I get that because if, if they don't, you know, EVs just won't take off because they'll just be those weird, ugly looking cars. Dyson obviously aren't going to be constrained like that. Whether it works or not, I don't think it matters. The fact that they're doing it, I think that's really exciting. And I hope at the very least we get a some advancement in the battery and possibly the motor uh, that other people can use and, and develop. Morning and day two, party two, uh, chaos again. Um, they're in the car, we gotta go. Wish me luck, I'll see you there. You did really well. Good job. The easy one, is it? Swing. That's it. Whee! What can you see, Annabelle? Nothing. You sure? What a brilliant place to have a party. It's a, just a shame the weather's turned. Um, it was just the right time actually, just as they were finishing up, uh, they got undercover and they're all eating now, which gives me a little bit of time to um, just finish off what I was saying about Dyson before. Now this is a company that ultimately, they're not afraid of going against the kind of the conventional design, the conventional way of thinking in order to take normal products and make them better. So whether it's a, a vacuum cleaner, a hand dryer, they do whatever it takes to make it better. And we have to presume that they're going to do the same with a car. Now, you know, whether that produces a mass market car that's going to do incredibly well on a worldwide scale, personally, I'm doubtful. You know, Dyson aren't stuck to just being a motor manufacturer. They don't have to look at the convention. They don't have to do the same as everybody else because that's what they've done for the last hundred years. So I'm really excited about it. And I think that this will probably move EVs or certainly the motor industry as a whole, another step forward. Uh, I don't think they're going to take over the, the, the big brands, but um, either way, I think it's a real positive and um, I'm really looking forward to seeing what they do. Go on, Thomas! Yay! <laughs> Well, that's it, back home now. Uh, I've got dinner in the oven, nice roast chicken tonight. Uh, can't have a Sunday without roast chicken. Uh, Sarah's on her way home. Kids are happy watching a film now because uh, they've pretty much worn themselves out today, which is great. Uh, all that's left to do then is it to eat the dinner, pack my kegs, back to Exeter, final week, thank goodness for that. And then, um, uh, and that's it really. Um, not a lot else to say today. So if you've enjoyed, well, the last two days vlog, uh, which I've put together. I don't think I've done that before, but um, please remember to um, like and share and if you're not doing so already subscribe to the channel and I'll see you again soon. Take care.